Yo, yo, Daily Fire, if it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 350. Have a vision, have it around you, and create a streak. I'm going to write that down. Have a vision, have it around you, create a streak. All right, so these are three really important things, I believe. Now, I'll read you the full tweet. I literally wrote, Hey, I tried to be cute on Twitter where you write only so many words, then the next line you write a little bit more, and then the next line you write a little bit more. That was a little technique. I don't know if it worked. But anyway, <laughs> shout out to Trey for sh- sending this one. All right. Have a vision. Have it around you. The goal is to create a streak. Define a plan. Execute it. Remember your goals daily. Take pride in consistent behavior. Remember it starts with you, but it's all about serving others to help them. So... If the vision is, I want to own my own gym, I want to do this for a living, I would have it all around me. I would uh, immerse myself in learning about it. I would go to school for it. I would learn from people that are making money in it. I would then even test things on myself. I would train twice a day. Like It was all around me. It wasn't like I thought I was going to be a trainer and then I was doing other shit on the side. I was immersed in it constantly, constantly. My goal was, and I didn't realize at the time, but I was doing this anyway, was to create a streak. Uh, I think it was my freshman year when I went into baseball, I didn't lift weights. And so then when I started my sophomore year, I made a pact with myself that I would basically never miss more than a week's workouts the rest of my life. And I'll tell you why, because I ran into this like 50 year old dude, which is funny because I'm almost that dude now, um, at Rocky Road, I don't even know his name. But he had crazy quads. When he would walk, and the, the the old Rocky Road, the original one, had lighting like the old school gym. When he would walk, his quad would like shake and like flex and it was like striated. I mean, he was old too. Like had these big, thick glasses. He's a bodybuilder from back in the day. I just asked him, bro, like how did you, like there's always a young dude that asks this question, like, how did you get like that? He just said he never missed fucking workouts. I mean, that dude has not, he said he hadn't missed workouts in like 40 years or something crazy like that. And I was like, and I know that consistency is important, whether I was shooting jump shots or I was doing this, like working on things. But for some reason between what my grandpa had told me and what that random dude told me at, at Rocky Road when I was like a senior or, or, or I'm sorry, when I was like a sophomore or junior and I'd been there for a workout, I was just like, All right, so my sophomore year, I was like, I'm not missing more than a week. So if I would go on vacation, I would still do a couple workouts, but I just wouldn't take the week off. just doesn't work that way. So when people talk about deload weeks, I'm only deloading if I'm competing, which means I'm competing at the end of the week. I just don't take weeks off. I'm still going to do something. And I think that I created this streak for myself, and it became prideful on missing the least amount of workouts possible. I think that's where my endurance came under the iron. I think that's where a lot of my trial and error came from. I think that's even where like a lot of my ideas because I'm just always after it and I take pride in that. I think when you define a plan and you execute it, the next point, it's uh, I always had something on the calendar. I'm looking at when's the next show, when's the next meet, when's the next cover or hopefully the first cover, right? So I've got dates on the calendar. So I'm not missing workouts. I'm creating a streak. I got dates on the calendars and I'm, and I'm ex- executing. Remember them every day. I would write my goals down. I would look at them every day. I still do that. I did a vision board with my daughter the other day. It's hanging uh, in, in my area at my house right now. Um, just like I did fucking 20 years ago. The funny thing is the thing that I put on it 20 years ago, all of it fucking happened. And so being, being, seeing it, it's out of sight, out of mind. So if it's in front of you, it reminds you of why you're working for it. And then just taking pride in consistent behavior, just knowing that like, I know that there's not anything extra sexy probably about today. There's probably nothing extra sexy about tomorrow. There's probably the next day and the next day, but that's where I'm going to fucking win at because I fell in love with the process because I know that I know that if I bust my ass, keep learning and push that I am probably going to get at least a chance at what I want and you will too. And the reality is like having that consistent behavior becomes something that you're prideful about because most people just can't fucking do it. 
It's just the fucking truth. It's the easiest concept to understand. Hey, just do it tomorrow and the next day and the next day. It's the hardest concept for people to execute because they're just not consistent. They fucking lazy. They give in. They fucking whine and they bitch and they just don't fucking get up and do it. And so having pride and consistent behavior, you're already going to be ahead of most people. And then lastly, just remember that it starts with you. But I have to get better so I can teach you because I can't teach you something I've never done. I've been through shoulder stuff. I could teach you. I've been through lower back stuff. I can teach you. I've been through this injury. I've been through this trial and tribulation in my business and having no money and some money and a big company and a small company and fucking lit up and not lit up like fucking whatever. Right. But I've been all these places over these years And I've been a first time entrepreneur. I've been a long time entrepreneur. I've been multiple six figures. I've been low six. Like it's all over the place. So I can teach you. And so the reality is if I go back through this, it's like, I have a vision. I have it around me. I I, I'm creating a streak of consistent behavior. I define multiple plans and I try to execute them and do execute them. I remind myself daily of my goals. I take pride that I'm consistent And I know that it starts with me. It starts with me so I can teach you. Daily Fire episode 350, Monday show.